I am John Baxendale from St Joseph's Church in Colwyn Bay. Today we reflect on the cruel servant, steward and God's forgiveness and mercy. Today's Gospel is from Luke, chapter 16, verses 1 to 8. Jesus said to his disciples, There was a rich man, and he had a steward denounced to him for being wasteful with his property. He called for the man and said, What is this I hear about you? Draw me up an account of your stewardship, because you are not to be my steward any longer. Then the steward said to himself, Now that my master is taking the stewardship from me, what am I to do? Dig? I am not strong enough. Go begging? I should be too ashamed. Ah, I know what I will do to make sure that when I am dismissed from office, there will be some to welcome me into their homes. Then he called his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? One hundred measures of oil, was the reply. The steward said, Here, take your bond, sit down straight away and write fifty. To the other he said, And you, sir, how much do you owe? One hundred measures a week, was the reply. The steward said, Here, take your bond and write eighty. The master praised the dishonest steward for his astuteness. For the children of this world are more astute to deal with, with their own kind than are the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Luke tells us and presents the parable of the shrewd manager, a story that can be quite perplexing at first glance. This passage offers a wonderful message about stewardship, resourcefulness and the contrast between the worldly wisdom and spiritual wisdom. In this parable, a manager who is accused of squandering his master's possessions is about to be dismissed. Knowing he is soon to lose his job, the manager acts shrewdly by reducing the debts of his master's debtors, earning their favour in the hopes of securing for future support for himself. The core lesson seems to lie in the manager's resourcefulness and quick thinking, which is commended by his master, even though his actions are not entirely ethical. The manager, despite his dishonesty, demonstrates an acute understanding of the situation and takes immediate action to secure his future. This shrewdness highlights the importance of being astute and forward thinking, especially when faced with difficulties or uncertainties. However, the passage does not explicitly condone dishonesty. Instead, it serves as a lesson in contrast between worldly wisdom and the values of the kingdom of God. Jesus often uses parables to highlight deeper spiritual truths. And in this instance, he emphasized the needs for believers to be wise and strategic in pursuing the kingdom as the worldly minded are in their pursuits. Furthermore, this passage challenges us to consider our values in handling worldly wealth. Jesus follows up this parable by emphasizing that people of faith should be faithful and trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, understanding the true riches are not found in material possessions, but in spiritual matters. The passage suggests that our handling of worldly wealth reflects our faithfulness in greater, more significant matters of the kingdom of God. Reflecting on this passage prompts us to consider the balance between worldly wisdom 
and spiritual integrity. It encourages me to pursue to be prudent and strategic in my actions, using resources wisely and thoughtful about the implications of my decisions. Additionally, it underscores the importance of aligning my values and actions with the principles of the Kingdom, prioritising spiritual wealth over material possessions. Ultimately, this passage challenges believers to be responsible stewards of all they've been entrusted with, whether it's material possessions, relationships, time or opportunities. It calls for a mindfulness in our actions and decisions, reminding us that how we handle worldly matters reflects our commitment to deeper spiritual values. And we'll close with a prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us.